I'm here in Bally William, just outside New Ross in County Wexford. Normally springtime is a heartwarming time of year on the sheep farms that dot these hills. But this year it's more like heartache as a new disease kills farmers' lambs and threatens their livelihoods. Michael Murphy has been farming in this area for over 40 years, but what has been happening on his farm this year has come as a complete shock. I'm getting an awful lot of deformed lambs, about 25% of them with severe deformities. Not alone that, but some of the sheep are very shook after trying to get the lambs out and it's a total disaster. Michael first noticed a problem about five weeks ago at the very start of his lambing season. Myself and my son were trying to get these lambs out and eventually after an awful battle we got uh, two dead lambs out of it, but they came out in pieces. The whole uh, body of the lamb is fused together and uh, legs breaks off like carrots and uh, it was brutal now to be quite honest about it. The disease that's killing Michael's lambs is called Schmallenberg. It's a virus that's spread by midges and affects both unborn lambs and calves in the womb and causes either early spontaneous abortion or else animals being born dead and deformed. The disease was first identified in Germany in 2011, but it spread rapidly. Last year it wiped out as much as 5% of the newborn animals on British farms. Vet Bill Cashman is now witnessing the exact same thing happening in his own area. All the practices in Cork now have, would probably have farms that are positive for the presence of the virus and in quite a number of farms have had uh, calves born with the nervous signs or indeed with the joint and the um, constricted muscle version of it as well. If a particular herd got a lot of exposure at the same time, at the same stage of pregnancy, then we could have very high prevalences in some herds. But again, we have to wait and see. Another farmer who's been badly hit is Shane Murphy, who took over the family farm only recently. Since he began this year's lambing, he's been seeing two or three Schmallenberg lambs being born every single day. At what point did you realise, hang on a second, this isn't just a freak of nature? I was in contact with the vet nearly every day, so he rang me, say, about the 2nd of January and there was a good few confirmed cases of it. So on we went to the lab with seven deformed lambs and they all showed positive. For? Uh, Schmallenberg. Had you ever heard of this disease before? I heard of it in October, but I, as anyone had always say, no, that won't happen to me. For Shane, the grim nature of this disease was driven home by the difficulties his yo's had in giving birth to these deformed lambs. Were you thinking, I'm getting out of sheep farming, or...? I didn't know what to really think, but it's just the mental thing of it, seeing maybe four and five lambs dead every morning, is, wouldn't be nice. Some of the Schmallenberg lambs are born alive, but survive only a matter of hours. The morning we arrived at Michael's house, one such lamb had been born during the night. I think he's the eighth one of these that, that just wouldn't stand. He'll never stand, even though the yo would lick him. I've tried to keep some of these alive. I thought they'd eventually stand, but no. It's a waste of time. Confirmed cases of Schmallenberg are rapidly increasing here with large numbers of sheep flocks and cattle herds, particularly in the south of the country, now being affected. The reason that we're seeing it down here earlier is that we're predominantly area lamb and flocks and hopefully that the people with later lamb and flocks, it hopefully won't affect them badly, but we don't know at this stage. There is a serious lack of knowledge of how to deal with the whole area and it's something I'd like to see the Department of Agriculture stepping up and giving guidelines to farmers of how to deal with this and how to manage this disease because it is something that's in this year's flock now, but it's from, from this year onwards, how we're going to deal with it. Will it affect the sheep next year? Will it affect the cattle next year? Is, there's a serious lack of knowledge out there at the moment. From the department, not a word. They seem to be um, talking about uh, in the papers, what I've read is one or two percent, but God, this is, uh, everybody around here has been hit. There's, there's farmers even far worse than me now. Is there a little bit of anger out there that there isn't more information? Well, sure, look, everyone is turning a blind eye to it. No one wants to say they have it, and everyone has it. 
I don't honestly know there why people are staying quiet. I suppose people feel that if they have a disease, it's an unusual disease, it may be a stigma, but at this stage, every sheep farmer that I'm talking to in this area ha has been affected in some manner or other. You have a sense of failure there, that, that you should have done something, but I don't think I should have done anything else. Like I don't feel that I, I've done anything wrong. Like I'm trying to save the yours now, that taking these rotten lambs out and... It's tough, you know. While lamb remains perfectly safe for the consumer to eat and Schmallenberg can't be transmitted to humans, the threat from these kinds of new diseases is one that needs to be taken very seriously indeed. Disease experts think that diseases carried by insects such as midges uh, will be the next great source of epidemics of diseases worldwide. With this disease in the country now, is it only a matter of time before it becomes endemic? Well, it is endemic now, effectively, because the midge spread is too quick. It's way ahead. By the time you find it in Ross Lair, the exclusion zone is nearly as far as Sligo. It was in Northern Ireland and in Southern Ireland within one day of each other when, when it was announced. At the moment, there's no way to inoculate against Schmallenberg. Scientists are working on a vaccine, but this could be over a year away. In the meantime, many farmers are being left to deal with this devastating disease and feel forgotten by the state authorities. We did ask the Minister for Agriculture, Simon Coveney, to comment on the situation, but he declined. Farmers like Shane Murphy, who are already struggling on marginal incomes, are now left contemplating whether they have a future in the sheep sector at all. Unless there's something done with it, it's, it's a complete wipeout. Unless there's a vaccine, I don't think I'll lamb yours next year, unless the department and vets work together and push for a vaccine. But uh, profit-wise and mentally, you just would not be able for it again.